Hello everyone. In this video, I'd like to talk about row reduction and echelon form. So first, a leading entry of a matrix is the first non-zero entry in each row in this matrix. And in echelon form, we want to make sure that all the numbers below the leading entries are zero. It essentially needs to look like this staircase pattern. We say that something is in row reduced echelon form if on top of that, each of these leading entries are one and every other number in that column is zero. Now other columns that don't have these leading entries can be whatever number they want to be. And we call these pivots. Having a matrix in reduced row echelon form is very nice because once we need to solve for the variables in our linear system of equations, then they are nice and easy to solve. So we will see how to convert something that is in reduced row echelon form into a solution set of a linear equation. Given a matrix, what we want to do is do row operations to bring it into echelon form. One, you can replace one row by the sum of itself and a multiple of another. Two, you can interchange two rows. And three, multiply a row by a non-zero scalar or a number. So using these row operations, let's bring this matrix into its echelon form. So in the first step, we want to make sure that the upper left corner is one, unless the rest of these are zeros. So we want to interchange either row one and row two or row one and row three. In this case, row three may be the better option. And so here we have replaced the two rows. Next, we want to make sure that everything below the leading entry is zero. So we want to make sure that these are zeros. So to get rid of three, we want to do minus one times this entire row one into row two so that we end up with this matrix. So how did we get this? First, three minus three is zero and then negative seven plus nine is two, eight minus 12 is negative four, negative five plus nine is four, and eight minus six is two. Now notice that every entry in row one is a multiple of three, and every entry in row two is a multiple of two. So let's divide row one by three and row two by two. When we do this, we get this matrix. Now we repeat the steps again so we see our leading entry is here and so we want to make sure every number below the le leading entry is zero so we can take negative three times row two and add it in to row three when we do that we get this matrix so now this is already in echelon form we can bring it into reduced row echelon form by repeating the steps. So we want to get rid of these two entries so we can add minus one and minus two to here. But notice that because this last column is all zeros, nothing really happens to the other entry. So we can get rid of these for free. Next, we look at our pivot here. We want to get rid of this number. So to do that, we multiply by three and add it in to this row. So when that happens, we get this. And this is in row reduced echelon form because these columns, called pivot columns, the pivot entries are all one and every other entry is zero. 